Um, I'm Sonia Windish, and um, I'm an educator. I've been at Northville Christian for 24 years, and that is such a gift. And I went into education um, because I, I liked it. I taught Sunday school with my sister-in-law when I was very young, 13, and I really enjoyed children. And my sister-in-law taught um, children with Down syndrome and uh, minimally brain image. Uh, uh, bring uh, damaged children and I really enjoyed them because they were unique and they were um, loving and so I really wanted to go into something challenging and that's where I started and I did that for two years and then went to Girls Point and did a year there um, and then we had Mar I was married and I moved to the Plymouth area because of business when we had a side business and in that uh, school system, I taught at many schools and eventually had the opportunity to develop some programs of primary uh, preventative first grade and also um, uh, the reading program. I helped establish the remedial reading program. And so then my husband passed uh, when I was in my 50s. I took time off from 31 to 56 to um, raise, you know, be with my family and my mother and you know, had challenges. She was blind. And um, spent time with her and they moved in with us. Sorry, my plate was full. But then when my husband passed it, when I was 56, a uh, natural thing was to go back to something I loved and that was education. And so I had the opportunity to interview here and um, was part of the learning lab, our resource room then, and I uh, did that for seven years. And then I was a program director, and then from there on I went to become a vice principal. And I enjoy um, children um, because everyone's so unique, and I like to meet the unique needs of all the children and um, to be there for them because as a, a youngster, I was a high mock child, and um, there were certain people like Mr. Bay that really nurtured me and understood me. They considered me an opportunity rather, he considered me an opportunity rather than uh, a challenge. And um, to, to see what other people have implanted in me, I want to give that back now because um, students can get so discouraged so easily because this world is so overwhelming. And to be able to be there like uh, Moses had her and Aaron lift their arms in battle, I feel that that's my role is to be an encourager and to um, lift these children up as they, as they go through their uh, various developmental uh, cycles. And um, I guess my greatest joy is mentoring by uh, using with God's Word. When I first started teaching uh, in 1960, uh, 60, um, I um, had the opportunity to talk about Jesus in fact, in my wedding, I, I've got my, a white Bible that the stu students gave me, and I could carry that down the aisle, and the Detroit News did a story on me um, and the children regarding the teacher goes by the book. By 1967, that wasn't the case. Uh, prayer had been taken out of the classroom in 62, but by 67, uh, the parents, stood, uh, several of the parents stood up and said they did not want prayer in the classroom. I prayed before lunch. I had to quit that, and, and using character building, I couldn't mention Jesus Christ or the Creator or uh, any of that by the time it was in the, the, when it, we were in our, the late 1960s. So to come back to a school where Jesus Christ is the head of the school, that the Holy Spirit, that we are led by the Holy Spirit to be able to speak about the Holy Spirit and speak about the students being a divine creation of God and a treasure. It's such a gift, because if we don't know whose we are, how can we know who we are? And, um, it, you know, every age has a different uh, approach to, to lead them to, to a complete uh, surrender to Christ. And to be part of that process, to plant the seeds and not expect any outcome other than the Lord's leading. And I, uh, this year I will be retiring um, because of uh, um, God's leading. Uh, he, uh,
spoke to me and said finish strong but don't stay too long and so I will be spending time with family and investing in them I have a 14 year old grandson and um, we're very close and I hope to spend more time uh, mentoring him but also spend time listening to him and enjoying him and attending his um, theater productions that he's into.